Nice junior park ranger pen. You must really be on Acre's good side. To make a long story short, I need some camouflage gear. Got some right over here. One size fits all. But I'm running kind of low on bait. So if you go out and get me, oh, say a dozen little critters, I'll give you the camos. You got a deal. So what kind of bait do you need? Worms, spiders, beetles, grubs. Anything that wriggles on its belly will do. Just look under stuff. Rocks, logs, dead leaves. Should be able to find 12 in no time. Hunting for critters isn't illegal, is it? Things ain't quite that bad around here. Least not yet. Now, if Jeff Aker's daddy was still around, you might get arrested for cruelty to animals or some such nonsense. Joe Akers used to be the deputy sheriff. Real critter lover, that one was. Joe Akers is Jeff's father? That's right. I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. I found this picture in Sally's house. Do you recognize anybody? Hmm. I'm guessing the guy's Mickey Malone, but I don't know who's that lady. Sounds like a case for our resident know-it-all Ranger Acres. Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. Guess I'll see you later. You betcha. You're back. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? There's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Oh my gosh, not only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. But... Where's Yogi? In the run, out back. Even out of sight, he's under my full control, as park rules require. I found a newspaper dating back to 1927 in Sally's house. Since you're kind of an expert on the history of Moon Lake, do you mind if I ask you some questions about Mickey Malone? Not at all. The article mentioned that a man named William Akers used to work for Malone. Is he a relative of yours? No. Quite a coincidence, I'll admit, but no. I am in no way related to the head flunky of some two-bit gangster and his gang of thugs. I found this old picture in Sally's house. Do you know who these people are? The man is Mickey Malone, I know that. I'm guessing that this is his girlfriend, Vivian Burnett, I think her name was. And judging by the year of that brand new Ford in the background, I'd say the picture was taken in 1928. She was probably as familiar with Malone's house and his dogs as he was. Think there's any chance she's still alive? Tell you what, Miss Drew. Why don't I go through my files and see what I can dig up on this mystery woman? I'm a busy man, but like I always say, I'm here to serve. When and why was Malone arrested? I'm sorry, Ms. Drew. As usual, I'm a little pressed for time. If you have more questions, 
Why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? What happened to Akers and the rest of Malone's gang after he went to prison? <laughs> Fortunately for Moon Lake, they all left and went their separate ways. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I recently found out that William Akers had a son. All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. What did William Akers do after Malone was arrested? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. I apologize for my previous behavior. As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in check at all times, and that time I failed. It's my duty as a public servant to try to make it up to you. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried on his property? As far as I know, it doesn't exist. It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. You're back. Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. I've been trying to take pictures of birds for this guy named Red Knot. Ever met him? Oh, yes. The Birdman. I'd stay away from him if I were you. Why? Is something wrong with him? He's a fanatic. He's got it in his head that Moon Lake would be the best bird-watching venue in the world except for one thing. Too many people. Believe me, if there was a way to get this park shut down and all the homes on the lake torn down, he'd do it in an instant. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Bess, it's Nancy. I know that. What's going on? Get this. It turns out that Jeff Akers will be one happy park ranger if Sally sells her Moon Lake property back to the bank and they wind up selling it to the parks department. You think he might be responsible for all this ghost dog stuff? He has a motive and he has a dog, although it doesn't look at all like the dogs that have been scaring Sally. But it shows he knows something about dogs. Better pull out your suspect list and pencil him in, Nan. I still say you guys should lighten up on him. You two would get a kick out of the woman who owns this little store on Moon Lake. How so? She's a real country gal. We got this deal worked out where if I need something she carries, she'll let me do little chores to pay for it. What kind of little chores? Oh, like collecting bugs and worms so she can sell them to fishermen as bait. Sounds delightful. Unfortunately, she may not be as harmless as she seems. Why do you say that? She also sells antiques from the 1920s that she finds in Moon Lake. Is that bad? If she's been getting them by dragging the lake in front of Sally's house, it is. That's illegal. You know what that means. It means Emily Griffin has made my suspect list. Because if she is breaking the law, she'd want the Malone house to stay empty so she can keep dragging the lake without anybody seeing her. I think somebody may have deliberately put poison down Sally's well. Yikes! What makes you think that? The Department of Health found unusually high levels of arsenic in the water sample I sent them. Somebody's trying to poison you with arsenic? They said that? It's apparently not unusual to find some arsenic in well water. So somebody could be trying to poison you. But you don't know for sure. Right. And they may not be trying to poison anybody. They may want to contaminate the well just enough to force Sally to either go to the expense of digging a new one or forget the whole thing and leave. 
And because arsenic is found naturally in well water anyway, you may never know for sure. Bummer. I found the coolest old newspaper. It's from 1927, and on the front page is an article about Mickey Malone and a man named William Akers. Akers? Any relation to park ranger Jeff Akers? When I asked, Jeff Akers said that it was just a huge unfortunate coincidence. According to the paper, William Akers was Mickey Malone's most trusted employee, his number one go-to guy. Where'd you find it? You know how I always seem to wind up in houses with secret passageways? Sometimes I think they follow you around. Well, I found these hidden stairs leading from the living room into the cellar. What's down there? That's what's weird. The stairs led down into this empty space. There's some kind of safe in the wall and a set of stairs leading to a door that goes outside, but that was it. Hmm. Why would Malone bother hiding a staircase if it didn't go somewhere important? Hey, newsflash. I think I know why somebody wants to scare Sally off her property, and it has nothing to do with birds, parks, or artifacts. So what does it have to do with? Gold, as in 600 pounds of gold bullion. Come on, Nancy, tell us everything. Gold is one of my favorite subjects. Well, I found William Aker's journal, who, it turns out, was our friendly park ranger's grandfather. Ooh, that's interesting. Not as interesting as 600 pounds of gold. Go on, Nancy. In the journal, I found a map with the inscription, The Dogs Will Lead the Way. You found a treasure map? My gosh, Nancy. Secret passageways, buried treasure? You're like a magnet for that stuff. The dogs will lead the way to what? Malone apparently masterminded a huge gold heist and buried the loot at Moon Lake in a secret location. According to the journal, Malone left Acres the map and said it would show him where the gold was, but all it has on it is that inscription and some landmarks. What kind of landmarks? The house, the shoreline, some rocks in the lake, the pump, the cemetery, and it's crisscrossed with lines like a grid. A grid? Sounds like precise locations are involved. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Get outside and find that bait. You can do it, Nancy. I sure as heck couldn't, but I know you can. Bye, you guys. Don't be a stranger. Take care. Hello? Hey, Sally. It's Nancy. Nancy, hi. How's it going? I'm afraid I have some bad news. I had your well water tested, and according to the health department, it contains a very high level of arsenic. Arsenic? Somebody poisoned my well? Maybe, maybe not. The health department is running more tests. When you bought the house, did anyone mention a problem with the well? No. And it doesn't matter. I love that house, and I am going to live in it. If that well's bad, I'll just dig another one. At least, I will when I know for sure why bad things keep happening there. You are going to figure that out, right, Nancy? You bet I am. I knew I could count on you. Were you ever told that Mickey Malone supposedly buried a small fortune in gold bullion somewhere on your property and that it has yet to be found? Is this a joke? Malone supposedly stole a bunch of gold bars off a train and buried them at Moon Lake. You never heard about that? Uh, no. Could it be true? Well, if somebody thinks it's true, that may be the reason they're trying to frighten you off your property. How did you hear about it? I found the journal of a man named William Akers in a safe in your cellar. He was one of Malone's closest associates. Ever hear of him? Never. Talk to you later. Keep me posted. Hello? Hi, Frank. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Joe. Pick up the phone. Joe's in the kitchen. Worked up a real appetite watching me vacuum out the car. Hello? Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. What are you eating? Sandwich. Either roast beef or really old turkey. Can't tell. Don't care. So how's life as a dog catcher? I'm pretty sure I know why somebody wants Sally out of the Malone house. 
So come on, spill. Apparently, Malone stole a small fortune in gold bars off a train and hid them somewhere on his property here. They've never been found. How do you know? One of his employees, a guy named William Akers, kept a journal, which I found and of course read. Of course. Wait a sec. Did you say William Akers? Who, as it turns out, was our friendly park ranger's grandfather. Whoa. According to his journal, William Akers spent months following each dog around, hoping one of them would lead him to the gold. None ever did. So they didn't go running off into the woods, never to be seen again after all. Apparently, they stayed around Malone's house for years. William Akers went to the house every day and fed them until they all finally died. But according to their tombstones, they all died on the same day. Those inscriptions were Malone's idea. Akers was just following instructions. And in all that time, William Akers never found any trace of the gold? He made one mark on the map I found, a capital I on the porch of the house. Any idea why? He discovered that one of Malone's dogs slept on the porch all day, so Akers dug all around underneath it looking for the gold, but never found anything. Let me guess, he marked the spot with an I because the dog's name was Ike. Iggy. Maybe the location of the gold doesn't involve just one dog, but all four in combination somehow. The whole idea of relating dogs to a map is crazy. They're animals. They move around. But they're also creatures of habit. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I just need to know their habits. Well, that could be a little difficult, considering those dogs have been dead for more than half a century. So if you guys were 600 pounds of gold bullion, where would you be? Maybe Malone hid it in the speakeasy. I doubt it. William Akers had nine years to turn this house and the speakeasy inside out and never found a thing. Keep the faith, Nancy. If that gold hasn't been found yet, all it means is that nobody as smart as you has looked for it yet. I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? Time to find the rest of the bait. Just keep your hands away from your mouth and you'll be fine. Later, guys. We'll be waiting. <laughs> Thank you.
Nancy, how's the bait finder coming along? Twelve big, fat, juicy ones, just like you wanted. Well, now, you done all right for a city gal. Here you go. Hope whatever you're hiding from won't catch you. <laughs> How you holding up? Any word from Tucker what's-his-name? He hasn't been by to move that tree yet. I'll give him another call. But like I said, the man marches to the beat of another drummer. A very slow drummer. Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking.
Good news. I have information on your mystery woman. You are incredible, Ranger Acres. What did you find out? Her name these days is Vivian Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas, and her number is 702-555-9137. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Tweet, tweet! Yes, it's Nancy. I know that. What's going on? I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Call Vivian Whitmore. If she was Malone's old girlfriend, she might know where he hid the gold. And call her soon. I mean, do you know how old that woman must be? Bye, you guys. Don't be a stranger. Take care. Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? In the paperwork that you had to wade through when you bought this property, do you recall ever coming across the name Vivian Whitmore? No, I sure don't. Who's she? A close friend of Mickey Malone's, or so it would seem. Her name wasn't anywhere on the deed, I know that. Talk to you later. Keep me posted. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. Got a minute? You bet. Hang on. Pick up. It's Nancy. We were going to head to the park and shoot some hoops, but we can't. Want to know why? Why? Because it's raining. And you just washed your car? Ouch. I told you it was going to rain. You always say that. So what have you got? I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? Have you called Vivian Whitmore yet? Whoa, she's got to be in her 90s. Call her, Nancy, like now. Nobody lives forever, you know. Later, guys. We'll be waiting.
If you're selling something, hang up right now. I got an air horn in my hand that could deafen a dinosaur, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, no, no, please. I'm not selling anything. Believe me. Is this Vivian Whitmore? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. You got exactly five seconds to state your business. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to ask you some questions. All right. The Moon Lake Park Ranger said you might call, but you have to talk fast. An old friend of mine is flying in today from Florida. And when I say old, I mean old, as in five years older than I am. Don't bother trying to do the math, sweet stuff. You'll hurt yourself. So, that ranger fella said you found an old picture of me. That's right. I found it in the cellar of Mickey Malone's old house on Moon Lake. Moon Lake. Talk about your fond memories. I had a lot of fun there. Although I wasn't anywhere near as wild as most young people were back then. But I think Mickey kind of respected me for that. I was his gal for five years. He always kept birch beer on tap at that speakeasy of his just for me. I found a safe in the cellar there. You must be talking about the wall safe. That was Willie's. He was a guy who worked for Mickey. Willie, as in William Akers. What can you tell me about him? He was Mickey's most trusted employee. Mickey treated all his other men like dirt, but not Willie. He honestly liked Willie, respected him, trusted him implicitly. William Akers, the guy you call Willie. He wrote about looking for the gold that Malone had supposedly buried on his property at Moon Lake. Do you know anything about that? The hole in the floor gold heist. Well, I'll be darned. That was the name Acres used, too. What else can you tell me? Truth be told, when Mickey told me he was the one who pulled off that heist and that he'd buried 20 gold bars at Moon Lake, I didn't believe him. I thought he was making it up. See, Mickey and I were on the outs by then. I thought he was just trying to entice me to come back. But if he told Willie the same thing... Maybe there's something to the story after all. Do you have any idea where he might have hidden it? Afraid not. Mickey was so secretive that the men who completed his house at Moon Lake were not only forbidden to talk about the work they'd done, but they were ordered to leave the state for good or else. But you know, I think he mentioned a map. Yes. He said he was making a treasure map in that... The dogs... Something about those dogs of his. The dogs will lead the way? He was always saying that. In fact, I'm pretty sure he had it engraved on his tombstone. Think, Viv, think. He said he was making a treasure map and that he was also having paintings done of each dog. He made it sound like one thing had something to do with the other, like he was giving me some big important clue. But I just figured he was playing games, trying to lure me back with mystery and intrigue. I told him to buzz off. Maybe I shouldn't have. Did he say what he was going to do with the paintings? He said he was going to hang them in the speakeasy, and I'm sure that's precisely what he did. What can you tell me about Malone's speakeasy? It was in the basement, right there at Moon Lake. Feds never knew about it, but everybody who was anybody on the East Coast back then, actors, musicians, bankers, politicians, they knew. You weren't big time unless you'd made at least one trip to Moon Lake Mickey's. That's weird. I'm staying in his old house on Moon Lake, and I haven't seen any sign of a speakeasy. Course you haven't. You're not supposed to. Only Mickey and Willie knew how to get into the speakeasy from the house. The rest of us had to go in and out the regular way, through the cemetery. The cemetery? There was a lock hidden in one of the tombstones in that little cemetery behind the house. You needed a key to unlock it, and when you did, stairs would appear that led to the speakeasy. Do you have any idea how to get into Malone's speakeasy from the house? I sure don't. That saloon was built using two main ingredients, concrete and secrecy. Mickey always bragged that nobody could get in unless he wanted them in, and I do believe he was right. But I'll tell you what, if you sent me that picture of me and Mickey, 
I'll send you my key. How will I know which tombstone to use it in? As a joke, Mickey had a tombstone made with the name of this federal agent who had it out for him, inscribed on it. That's the one the key unlocks. Can you remember anything about Malone's dogs that might suggest where he hid the gold? I stayed away from his dogs. They made me nervous, always jumping around, barking at this or that. The only one I liked was... Uh, oh, what was his name? Iggy! I liked Iggy because he was nice and quiet. He just lay on the porch all day and didn't make a peep. It's been fun talking to you. I'll be suing you. Hello again, Miss Drew. Am I in for another interrogation? I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me and I'll take care of it. I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. the bird watching coming along. Mickey Malone supposedly buried a bunch of stolen gold bars on his property way back in the 20s. Did you know that? Really? That's interesting. I don't much care, but it's interesting. So you don't know anything about it? Nope. I just can't seem to find a red-tailed hawk. Any suggestions? Well, there's gotta be lots around here. You haven't been going around wearing sunglasses and earmuffs, have you? Where am I most likely to see one? Well, according to my bird map, they like to nest in the big tree that's just to the southwest of the Malone house. I suggest you park yourself nearby and wait. Bound to spot one sooner or later. See you in a while. Shh. Down a notch. Remember. Mm. 